The team coverage moves to Suffolk now. Adriana de Alba joins us live from there. Another hard working crew this morning. Adriana, you know, Suffolk saw a lot of snow this morning as well. Yeah, we sure did. You remember us this morning. I was muggy and dusty. You know, I looked like a nasty snow rabbit. Now I'm nice and dry. You know, the sun's coming down, hitting on us clear skies. It's beautiful out here. It's turned out to be such a nice snow day, but I talked to VDOT crews earlier today. They did confirm to me that Suffolk got up to three inches of snow. We definitely saw that maybe even higher. I'd like to say it was higher. I think I saw a little bit more, but VDOT crews, you know, working hard to make sure roads are safe and overall it's turned out to be a spectacular day. After nearly three years without snow, Hampton Roads transformed into a winter wonderland, several inches covering tree branches and sidewalks in Suffolk. For Rodney Ellis, it meant cleaning up before heading out for work as a truck driver. I, I didn't think it was going to get this bad, but yeah, it's pretty bad. VDOT crews spent all day yesterday pre-treating roadways. They retreated again early this morning to prevent ice on the roads. Today's snowfall led to slushy road conditions. Some parts of Suffolk got up to three inches of snow, blanketing grassy areas of the ground, but melting on the pavement. It feel good out here. I like the winter time. It looks pretty out here. The trees looking all nice. It don't look as naked no more. What's the best part about it? Snowball fights. I hope it stick for a little bit till I get home and play with my brothers and sisters. It's just enough snow to admire and run around in without leaving a major mess behind. And now, you know, like I said, really great conditions out here. The wind kind of picking up here and there. It's getting chilly, but crews with VDOT tell me that they anticipate the sun and, a, and the wind will help dry everything out, make those conditions nice for you. And crews will be on standby overnight into tomorrow just to make sure those roads are safe for you. For now, live in Suffolk, Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now.